You know, they're raising prices is not illegal. Exactly. Further, as we work ourselves into collective lockdown frenzy over price gouging that clearly doesn't exist, the Prime Minister at the end of her Cabinet briefing made that startlingly obvious economic reality. Raising prices is not illegal. Did she not learn her lesson from the petrol fiasco, for goodness sake? She told us this time yesterday she had no evidence of price gouging. That's before you get to the simple fact we don't actually have a national measure of what price gouging might actually be. Further, we got evidence yesterday as well from foodstuffs that, one, the number of specials is almost as high as it has been normally. The only difference being the stuff they can't special is because of a supply issue. And Chris Quinn, head of foodstuffs, North Island, said, hand on heart, there is no gouging. So we don't actually have a problem. Well, some people will. I mean, you watch the main issue will be the variability of fruit and vegetable prices from people that don't understand seasonal variability and importation issues. Surely the avocado scandal of recent years gave us all the insight we need there. However, doing what this government does well, they set up a complaint service for feedback. You can now go to dot, 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 dob in a can of beans or whatever the site is and have your grievances. Well, actually, can you? What will happen to your grievance? I suspect nothing actually i suspect they'll ignore it it's the same as the dot 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 dob in a jogger site they opened over the weekend thousands of sticky beak protests crashed the site on day one as people with a world of boredom on their hands and a lot of venom in their hearts clearly let rip on some poor unsuspecting dog walker what the government were of course supposed to be doing at Cabinet yesterday was the question as to whether the supermarkets should be open over Easter. And yet again, this government did what governments do so well, uh, procrastinate. It's a 30 second decision for goodness sake. The government gets out of the way of essential services. It's not that hard. If supermarkets want to close, that's their call. If they want to serve the community, the government won't stop them. How hard is that for goodness sake? It's a couple of phone calls at best. We have a handful of supermarket brands. Dairies can stay open. Same with pharmacies. With so much actually locked down and comparatively so few players to deal with making decisions, should actually get easier, not harder. But here's your frustration. Seems to me we are still too obsessed with the minutiae. This country is in a health come economic crisis. We need big picture thinking with big picture ideas and big picture answers. How to come out of this the other side? Who's in work? What businesses survive? Who prospers? Who doesn't? How big the debt hole is? How big welfare becomes? You know, the serious stuff, but no. Let's obsess about websites and playing spooks on neighbours. That's a mile more productive, isn't it?